some of the strawberries that I have from Wish Farms. I am going to make something very fancy. It is strawberry soup. Um, these are the strawberries here. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> that was amazing. These are frozen. I'm going to use these for something else later. <laughs> Sorry, that was lame. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you want to use fresh strawberries for this recipe. I have everything laid out here. Strawberry soup is, um, it's a cold, refreshing, it's, it's, I wouldn't eat it as a meal. It's more like a dessert kind of a thing or a snack. I was first turned on to cold soups, cold fruit soups, um, for my husband Thomas, because in Hungary they eat this one that I'm not going to attempt to pronounce because I don't want to be made fun of, but it's basically a fruit soup, and they have it during the summer when all the soups are, or the fruit is fresh and all that sort of thing. It's so delicious, especially the way that my mother-in-law and family makes it. But anyways, we are going to make a different version today, not the same exact one. I'll get the recipe for that later. This recipe I found on foodnetwork.com from Robin Miller. I'm going to put the link down below and I'm just going to follow it to a T and we'll okay. try it together. So basically you take all the ingredients, put it in a blender, blend it, and then put whipped cream on top. And I happen to make fresh whipped cream in another video and I have that link below and I'm making it on the same day so I can multitask. So we take the strawberries and we just put them in the blender. That is two cups of strawberries. Then we have one cup of vanilla yogurt. I'm using vanilla Greek yogurt and uh, I don't think it matters what kind you use but I like Greek because it's very creamy and because this Greek yogurt, this particular Greek yogurt, yogurt doesn't have too much sugar in it, I'm going to add a little sweetener to this recipe because I know that I'm going to want it a little sweeter because I am a sweet junkie. using tangerine juice here, but it's the same thing. You can just use regular juice. Pour that in there. Okay. Then a little bit of agave nectar. This is light agave nectar. Um, this is what I usually use to sweeten stuff. I learned this from my friend Nicole, and I will do a whole post about agave nectar extolling the benefits and virtues, but for now just trust me or use sugar. Here's a little. <laughs> and last but not least, half a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you haven't seen me freak out about vanilla before, watch my whipped cream video. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna blend all this together now. And we will have fruit soup. I was just so excited about the way it looks. <laughs> it looks like strawberry milk. Yum. But this is soup. It's good for you. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> this is what I was looking for. Okay. Some soup, soup in there. Look at this whipped cream. <gasps> Aren't you jealous? Okay, I won't take that much. A little dollop. And if I was really fancy, I would put a fresh sprig of mint here, but I'm not going to. Now I'm going to make you really jealous because I'm going to eat it right in front of you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at that. Let's try it. Oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. You're not here. Oh, you poor thing. Too bad. Mm. Whoa. The whipped cream, the strawberry, all together. So good. Actually, what I'm going to do is put a little bit more sweetener in here because, like I said, I'm a junkie. But it's still so good. If you get a bite of the whipped cream and the, um, the strawberry part, 
it's perfectly sweet, so I might just mix this together, but oh, I'm in love. Mm. Strawberry soup. Refreshing, delicious. You'd want to put this in the fridge for a little while, so it's really cool. That way you could get a nice summery treat to cool you down. If you're going to serve it to others, you want it to be really, really cold, and it's not that cold. So put it in the fridge before you serve it to others. Or keep it for yourself, like I'm about to do. All right, I just had the best watching. idea. You can put this soup, oops, I can't really see it, into a, in a takeout container like this. I got this tip from Ina Garden on her show, Barefoot Contestant. She does this all the time. Put the soup in a container like this with a good um, sealing cover and throw it in your freezer, and you can have fruit soup in the middle of winter. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you.